All right, what is up, my friends? Good morning. Why so serious? That's us today. We're going to be a little serious today. We're practicing for uh, the MCQ this weekend on Arena. And um, I haven't really played much standard lately. Uh, Modern Pro Tour, Disney World Trip, etc., etc. And um, I'll be a little waka waka. This is not like a serious, serious stream. More so just that we're playing serious deck lists. And um, so we're playing uh, five decks today. We're playing Mono Red Vampires, Esper Hero, Jeskai Walkers, and Bant Ramp. Uh, kind of running through the top decks in the metagame. And um, we're going to see if we can win some games here. Um, qualify for the Arena MCQ by being top 1,000 Mythic in the season. Uh, we're currently in the next season, and we haven't even played that much, so we're platinum something or other. So, um, nothing too crazy here. Just pretty uh, stock mono red. I know Martin Yuza's been playing this deck. I believe Yuza and Paulo played this deck in their MPL weekly thing, and um, nothing too fancy. Just nice, solid mono red to start. This deck should be good against vampires, and uh, it's mono red, so let's go. Metagame very inbred at the moment. Vampires and Scape Shift decks trying to beat each other. So let's see if we can beat them. Of course, I got back from Disney World yesterday. I was there for a few days. John and Nicole are still there. Their family's down there for over a week. They drove down. They're driving back up. I flew down for a few days to hang out with them. Hello. That's not very good either. Opponent also mulligans. Um, I can't really keep this one. If we draw a land, it's fine, but these cards are all uncastable with only one land. I'm gonna draw... It's only 20 lands in the deck. Um... If you do keep, you probably dump the Wizard's Lightning, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go five. Punished. I guess we have Firebrand Light Up Stage, so... Let's keep... Um, we'd like to keep one of our five drops. Five, four drops. Um... Yeah, that was the original StarCraft soundtrack. I feel like Frenzy is really important to kind of get us back into things. I'm going to ship the Chain Whirler, too. Bones on six, we're on five. Certainly not ideal, but... Kobe, you sub, what's your name, where you from? Welcome, my friend. Well, that makes our hand much worse, and we drew a second Frenzy, so we're basically dead. If we were able to attack and light up a stage, our firebrand might have been in good shape, but Merch fan resub, welcome back. Oh. Okay. Johnny, new sub, what's your name, where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Oh, well. That's, uh. That's two frenzies in a row in our one land hand. I guess we're gonna shoot them and light up a stage, so. Kind of stinks, but not feel too good. All right, that's that's a start. That's our next two land drops. That's a start. That's basically exactly what needed to happen, and it happened. So, priest of forgotten gods. Okay, and there's another land. So. Yeah, we're gonna kill that. What's up, Dragon? How's it going, everyone? Welcome. If you're just tuning in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. This is some sort of like mono black aggro deck. That kind of looks like. Well, we have full house. Valkyrie, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. New subs, don't forget we got a private Discord chat server for subs only. 
We'll be doing our Survivor Football League pretty soon. Free for subs. Alright, this thing's getting big. And we are at six. Okay. That was really, really good. Never mind, we can't cast Lightning Strike, duh. Uh, can I have upkeep to this? I don't know what I would have targeted. Um, no, we're not playing Scape Ship today. I mean, like... I gotta shoot something. I guess we shoot this. Try another shock. I guess I can get Firebrand, too. Alright. Certainly not ideal, but... Oh, hello. Clearly blocking so I don't die. We'll see if our frenzy can pop off here. Yeah, football's coming, hockey's coming, fantasy football's coming. Mayhem Devil? That's why I found this. Alright, frenzy, do your work. Steamkin's good. Mountain's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Which is lighting on top? Chain Whirler. Alright. Not ideal, but fine. Fine. Yeah, I haven't played Scape Shift really at all, so I don't have any good advice for it, unfortunately. Alright, chip up blocker. We need like one or two more turns of the frenzy for me to be safe. Priest is good, we gotta kill that. And there we go, lightning strike. I think we kill the priest over the devil. Um, if they're able to activate this, we're basically just dead. So. Wizard's Lightning, perfect. And a shock, okay. That's only a solid question of where does a shock go? I was thinking, I just go upstairs. Wizard's Lightning? I think they can pump this thing too. It's trying to kill it. It's basically a uh, feudal disport. We are popping off here. Alright, there's the land. And another frenzy. I mean, we can try and keep going. No. Alright, so we've bricked a little bit, but we have a bunch of mana and a bunch of stuff going on. We have all four frenzies are accounted for, so and Chandra's in the bottom, so all of our four drops are chilling. I suppose pop I guess hmm. Probably gonna pop a frenzy end step to give us the option to pop the other one and start casting stuff. We do have two more frenzies in our hand, obviously, so. Dread Horde Butcher. That's pretty annoying because it kills both of our things. Um. Can't really let the butcher hit us. Just trade. Yeah, I mean Frenzy's really good. They haven't really followed up their start super well. This knight's still really big, but Greetings from South Africa. Awesome. Uh Vish, aka Valkyrie, been playing magic for twelve years. Favorite deck, Mines Dilation. Deck, anything Golgari. That's awesome. Vish, thanks for subbing, my friend. I appreciate it. Alright, Light Up a Sage is a little awkward. Um, I 
Light up stage, mountain, mountain, top card, mountain, lava runner, firebrand, steam can, just flip the order on those. Alright, so let's ship in with uh, these two. Would like to try and kill our opponent sooner rather than later. Pretty happy to chump block and shoot them, and then Steam can, can block if they kill the uh, Firebrand. Alright. Well, Experimental Frenzy is still pretty good, apparently. Some things never change. Some sort of aristocrats -y deck. Um, Definitely gonna want some lava coils. Hmm. I don't think we want Tibski. I think it's just lava coils. And what are we gonna cut? I guess the some of the X ones seem bad because uh they have like the footlight beans and stuff. Been all night watching fishy grixis and loxobots while I couldn't sleep. Your YouTube content is a linchpin in my free time. Thanks, Jim. Thanks for watching, Danger. Appreciate it. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure to cut here, honestly. What's up, chicken? Thanks for thanks for resubbing and subbing, everyone. I appreciate it. I am home. Why so serious? P N Y H A. All right, let's shave like, uh, I guess two lightning and two pyromancer bringing three coils. Let me just take out all the wizard's lightnings. All four coils in. I don't think Tybalt's good. This seems fun. We're also playing serious today too, so we get to hopefully get ourselves to mythic. Alright, um a lava runner here. Priest of Forgotten Gods. Yeah, I mean I guess we're just killing this and attacking. Butcher. Alright, so let me get the light up stage here. There we go, they're, they're gonna get two for one out of this butcher unless we have to go we'll see I hit a lava coil, but I think we're in pretty good shape here. Uh spectacle, yeah. That's cool. Firemancer chain whirler. Alright, I think they're, they're, they're gonna get their two for one here, it's fine. We'll just block this, and then they'll kill my Lava Runner or whatever. We have plenty of card advantage, so I wouldn't really mind taking a two-for-one. Like, nothing they have should be on par with uh, Frenzy. Next turn, we're probably going to Chain Whirler light up a stage again. I mean, I'm not sure what... Uh, they're thinking about, like, these decks don't play that many kill spells. If they had it, they probably would have done it already. So, maybe they're deciding if they want to trade or not. Chandra, Acolyte, of Flame. Chandra Nalar, Pyromancer Extraordinary. Oh. Don't worry, I brought company. So now maybe we don't block, because now we can kill Chandra, but I guess the Chandra's not even that bad for us. There's a block. Whatever. Don't let the butcher get too big. Card's pretty good. I like this card. <laughs> God damn it! So that's the one card that would have rewarded us for not uh not blocking. But whatever. So we're gonna chain whirler and we'll just let it, let it stage again. Hmm. 
Mountain Steam Kit. Alright, this all looks pretty good. Gutter ball. Oh god, this is embarrassing. Um, Exile gets around the the, the, the uh, death trigger on um on that. All right, let's uh make moves on uh, Chandra here. Hey, you hit me. I think we're just gonna cast this lava coils. We're definitely casting frenzy next turn, so yeah, things are looking pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I think this Chandra's playable in modern. Yeah, this is, those Rakdos decks just never really worked that well. They always look cool, but they just never like never like pan out. All right. Claiming prizes. Let's go. 1 0. Mono red. Serious day. Playing all the tier 1 decks. Not super serious. We're still waka walking and hamming it up, but. Gonna get our butts into Mythic, and we're going to re uh, acquaint me with the modern. The modern for the Steve. Look at me. I'm playing so much modern, I can't even say standard. Reacquaint ourselves with the standard format. It's fine. Not amazing, but fine. Frenzy's pretty busted. Oh, what's up, Dragon? It's just, uh... 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 What's his name? Andre Andrea Mangucci's band deck. Uh, it's on his on his Twitter. All my deck lists today are just copied from MPL lists or fandom lists or whatever. That's fine. Little just guy something here. Um, we're gonna steam kin. Yeah, if it's a fairy to bounce it, we have chain world to kill its fairy. So, yep. I stole some decks from the MPL. I know I'm a net dagger. So, deafening clarion to kill mice. Pyromancer. I mean, my Steamkin. Interesting. Uh, I think we still Steamkin. I mean, Chain Roller is obviously more mana efficient, but the fact they're going to blow a Deafening Clarion like that is a little sketch. Record with Dracuseth in the Cool Stuff video? I think it was 4 1. Maybe it's Chain Roller. Just so much more mana efficient. I think Golos has a place in Scape Ship decks. I haven't really played the Scape Ship decks that much, so I'm not really sure. Alright, it's so definitely a Planeswalker deck. Um, right. kind of I mean, we just recast it and kill it to Fairy. Like it. Let's see if we, if we draw a land, we'll, we'll Pyromancer Steamkin. We did not, so. Not ideal, but. This matchup is certainly not easy. This Jess Guy Planeswalker deck's been like popping back up a little bit lately. Not really sure why. Probably in the back of a good Vampires matchup, I guess. So Healy is pretty good. Let's uh, see if we can poke this Healy here. Do they have, do they have an opt? No. That's good for us. Alright, so just ship off. Oh, ship off the old Steamkin to the Pyromancer. I guess they have another death and deafening clarion. This is pretty bad for us. We have frenzy though. Mm. We could just lightning strike the Sahili. Um, maybe do that actually. Maybe uh, playing pyromancer is playing too hard into, into deafening clarion, and they were willing to deafening clarion one creature. 
Meaning it's possible they have another one. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Let's play it safe. Oh, they have spell piercer. I'm so dumb though. No, no, play so bad. You know when Jim is taking. That probably just threw the entire game. When he's running decks with a whirly boy, just makes me want to watch modern goblins. Let's slow this. Down. What's up, Mangorian? Thanks for your seven. Uh, he probably just threw this entire game. Might be a bad idea. Ugh. Wrecked. Get wrecked, noob. Alright, um... They have Search for Escanta, too. Alright, I guess we're just killing Sahili. Yeah, I mean, just not, not playing into Spell Pierce, it's just like... Definitely what we need what we need to do there. Ten is a number. Ten is the loneliest number that you'll ever sub. Sorry, JK. But I must tend to my creation. Ten month resub, welcome back, my friend. Yeah, just, just got Walker seems good. I definitely have always liked that deck. We'll play him a deck later. I am not making this up as I go. Gentleman. You will feel the lick of my flames. Are you ready? Is Plusin? Alright. Plusing is interesting. Alright, um... I mean, we get to do quite a few things here. I think we're just gonna kill everything and then play a frenzy. So this is pretty good. Yeah, but like just getting a four-four dragon out of the thing's pretty good, you know. They're flipping search, search for Escandas. We do gotta kill them pretty quick. We might actually just be like murdering both tokens here, and murdering both planeswalkers and playing frenzy. Gotta make them stack the uh, sound effects a little better, you know? Top card, Witcher's Lightning? I played a land yet this turn? I don't remember. Um. I think I did. I think I did too. Alright, yeah, let's say go. They have the best Kanta here, but they need a Deafening Clarion. I think basically this turn, they're probably super dead. Okay. It's probably not going to do it. I know my responsibility. They're going to tuck that. This is on one. And they have one blue up. Alright, so we'll go upstairs. So, tucking, that's fine. Firebrand's actually pretty good here, because so we can poke the uh, Teferi with it and get our scene count up to 4 4, which is great. Because now our Deafening Clarion's not nearly as bad. Uh, put this here. Come on, Arena, you can do it. Arena's been really slow lately, it's been quite frustrating. This is hardly my worst defeat. Hardly. I think we're in good shape here. Monorizing seems kind of sweet. Alright, so... What do we want against this Planeswalker deck? Definitely want to cut the shocks. Um, I want Chandra. 
They don't really gain. I guess they have the, the life gain land. That card's actually pretty good. Let's see if we're interested in some, in some Tibskis. I don't think I'll have Lyra. Lyra seems pretty bad. What's up, Mango? Thanks for resubbing. I mean, I don't want Daredevil or Coil. Like, Daredevil seems okay. Because we can, uh, like, flash back their burn spells and stuff. But we're already a little glutted up on three here. I think this is just fine the way it is. Yeah, Shocked is, like, okay. It's shocking Planeswalkers is, like, not a place we really want to be. Um, I'm just got I just copied Martin Yuza and Paulo's list, so I don't really know about the uh, Blood Sun versus Alpine Moon discussion. Um, haven't played against Scape Shift yet either, so not sure honestly. Alpine Moon does seem more efficient. All right, we're gonna keep this. It's not great. We have a light up stage and a one drop, and hopefully we can just hit on the draw. So why still platinum? I have played very little arena in the last month, so here we are. We'll be mythic by the end of the day, I promise. Because we're playing real decks. I've only played, uh, kind of meme fun decks. Alright, well, this better hit. It did. This better hit some lands. Ah, uh, we're dead. Well. Well, well, well. Well, this is decks I plan on playing today. Yeah. Um, uh, Twitter. Alright, I mean, we're just dead now. That wasn't very Pretty sure we can't win. Need that light up stage to resolve. The gate's uh, a little weird. Right on schedule. We draw like running lands, maybe we have a shot, but they're just plusing. I have a plan. Just plusing. Alright, there's our land. Um you know, you can leave with Firebrand. We know what they're playing though, so. So you're telling me there's a chance. They did miss a land drop, which is good for us, so. Here we go. Just another land drop? Wow. Although, instant speed, deafening clarion, a very real possibility. So we are just going to attack. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Need to draw some lands. I don't think striking to fairy out of nowhere is very good, so, alright. Again? Goes nothing. That's the Healy again. My creations are things of beauty. Land, please? No. Definitely not. Never land. Oh, this does not feel very good, but. I guess they're stuck on lands, too. Multi drive his lamb, we're gonna be in pretty good shape. Our hand's pretty, uh, pretty gassy. Yes, yeah, so you missed my article on Monday. I wrote about the Bant slash four color snow deck I've been playing. Uh, deck is really good. Check it out for sure. Pools.bank.com, video Monday, link in chat. They said snow. Four color snow deck. 
Narset for Opt. And they have a land. All right. Yeah, I think our our our, our lack of lands here is going to put the uh, the nail in the coffin. We're gonna kill Sahili, but I don't think it really matters at this point. Innovation knows no bounds. I will return. So just drawing a card off the fairy and minusing Narset. I mean, Chain Roller is super live now. now. Now Chain Roller kills everything, right? So we just need to draw a land to their eight cards in hand. Search for Ascanto. That's a pretty good one. It's a pretty good one. All right. I mean, they could have like Aether Gust or something. That would suck. Let's draw a land, please. Let's go to the next game here. Our Chandra Chandra Frenzy Tybalt Wizards Chain Roller Chain Roller Hand is not, not doing it. We your land that's turn. I think we're alright. But once I get to untap, they're just going to go bananas. So, just go to the next game. Once again, folks, if you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. How's it going? Playing some uh, some Tier 1 Standard decks today. If you haven't followed on Twitch, make sure you follow on there. Watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh my god. What is going on today? I mean, you got a mulligan this hand. We can't keep this. Sure. It's not great, but sure. Ship a land. Call it a day. It's alright. I'm probably gonna get mulligans also. We're gonna keep ship a land. And then hope this light up a stage turns up some uh, some gas for us. Maybe we might have left all of our gas in the last game, but we shall see. Right on time. Aggro on the search for Escantos. Um, maybe hold this chain whirler. We're gonna light up a stage with a lava runner. Have we lighting up? Pyromancer chain whirler. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Pretty happy casting chain whirler next turn anyway. So. Beacons are really good. Beacons are definitely really good. My prowess is I keep an open mind. Oh god. Well definite Clarion punishes us really bad for casting his chain whirler, but I think we kinda need to cast it. Um I suppose we're leaving Narset in play. Actually we're gonna chase chain whirler anyway. Well, actually, they can't, they can't cast this yet. It's possible they just can't cast it at all. And having a red source is not crazy. I mean, it's a free chain whirler. It's not like, it's like, if, you know, it's not like we were going to lose it if we don't cast it. Our only other option would be to play light up a stage. I think we can, I think we can wait on. So, yeah, I'll we'll just play the chain whirler. Overwhelming. They have to cast Cloud here, they're dead. And if they do cast it, alright, they've been to Red Source, they have it, they have a source to cast it. So they Clarion. Uh, we can like Lava Run or Wizard's Lighting light up a stage. Frick. 
Frenzy Pyromancer, mega awkward. Uh, Scanter is not close to flipping yet. They've been a beacon. God, beacon's so good. They can gain like two life a turn. The next few turns. Hmm. Earth Lights of Fairy. Alright. I mean, Bouncing Lava Runner is not particularly great, obviously. You'll thank me later. Oh, I've done We're gonna go up on it. Before. I mean, casting Frenzy is kind of a disaster if they have any way to deal with it. I'm pretty sure we're just going to be playing other stuff. I guess killing this Teferi. we got to shove in pretty hard here, unfortunately. Two, four. We can just put them to five. These these this, these beacons are so good. Yeah, we can't play frenzy. They just bounce it. It's pretty gross. Want me to phase you out of time? Problem is putting them to five is not actually putting them to five. It's just a game two life every spell they guessed. So I think the. Uh, the beacons are going to force us to play a little bit of a longer game. Escanta is flipping. That is a downside to us killing Teferi. But I don't think leaving Teferi in play is a good idea. Scorpion. Alright, now what? We're at the point where Ascant is pretty good against us. And we're a little light on gas here. And this looks like a deafening clarion. Yeah, that's really bad. Now land. Tapped. Weird they took the time and care to tap their lands like that, but then didn't do anything with it. Or leave mana open for Escanta. Strange. That's pretty gross. Um, is Goblin Chain Roller better than a random card in our deck? Probably not, because I think that we need to draw pretty well to get out of this. But then having Ascanta online and Beacons online, that's a Planeswalker every turn. Yeah, I'm going to bottom this. We need to draw like Frenzy or Chandra or something exceptionally good. Honestly, Tibble will be fine. The Beacons are just so good. They topped too. Yeah, I think we're in pretty big trouble here. Yeah, I think the uh, the window is closing here. Very also answers uh, frenzy, so feels like we're in pretty bad shape here. Yeah, they gained a lot of life off these beacons. Beacons really, really good. Nah, no Richmond for me. Corn. And district. Don't worry, I got. I think this, this game's over. Back in five minutes. Yeah, I'm just going to go next. Alright. That'll be a bad matchup for Mono Red for sure. 
Jeskai might be might be like the deck. Probably good against vampires. Am I in Virginia? Uh, nope. You got a booster pack. Who wants to open a booster pack? Check out CoolStuffInc.com. CoolStuffInc.com. Number one source for all your game shopping needs. You got to visit their offices in Florida uh, yesterday morning. It was awesome. The place is great. So check it out. CoolStuffInc.com. Order your magic singles, your board games, card games. You name it. It's on there. Use promo code Jim5 for 5% off your order on CoolStuffInc.com. Hey, gems. Surprise. 101. Yeah, Sarkin does seem good against Escape Ship, too. Just fly over the zombies. Hmm. Hmm. Well, Jeskai Walkers is one of our decks on tap today, so. Assassin. Gross. Alright, Mulligan. Gross. Opponent also mulligans. Man. Man. Um, I don't know if we can keep this hand either, honestly. We're on the play, too. Yeah, I was on a mulligan again. Eh, it's better. Not great. Not great. That's fine, though. So we're on five and ship a land and a firebrand here. So you gotta draw some uh gotta draw some light up the stages or something here where oh, gutter ball again. People love their Arachnos decks. Arachdosing it. Arachdosing it up. If they have a butcher here, it's really bad for us. Oh, gutter ball number two, eh? Chain whirler. Can we do that? No. Not bad though. Alright, let me just shove here. I guess we could just firebrand the gutter bones and attack. A shock can deal with larger things. Yeah, I'll just do that. Shock deals with like Judith or like Priest of Forgotten Gods or whatever. Mask of Immolation. Uh, that seems pretty good. We're gonna kill this gutter bones in response and make this uh, steam get bigger so they can't kill it. Mask ain't bad. We can't kill the elemental before it gets equipped. It's all one one ability. All right, so we're coming in. They have a lot more gas than we do, but probably probably chump steam in here and shoot the pyromancer. So lightning helix essentially. It's 
bad. Okay, I mean, I can strike them and get in for extra damage. We're not really in great shape here. They have two extra cards in hand. And then if they ever damage, they get the gutter bones back too. But putting them to seven is not great. Eh, let's attack them. Oh, see if they sacrifice then shock in response. Yeah, it makes more sense, I guess. Okay. Right. We feel smart for saving our lightning strike. We feel dumb for drawing a land. Well, they keep drawing spells. Right, let's again. I mean, we're not getting chain roller, it doesn't feel great, but I'm not sure what else we're dealing with it, so. Big spell. Lava runner. Not a big spell. They have one card in hand left over. Chain roller rules the roast at the moment. They're just taking it? Well, I think we hold this lava runner. We try and sneak it in somewhere. Chandra Acolyte of Flame. These things do get sacrificed. That's pretty good. Oh my god. Man, they are firing on all cylinders here. So now my Chain Whirler's dead. Let's throw a Lightning Strike and kill them. And we get paid off for sandbagging our Lava Runner. Right, we're drawing to four versus lightnings, three lightning strikes. I mean, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, we're just dead. Tilt. I mean, I'll do all the five by game, so, you know, happens. Alright, um, we need to cut our pyromancers and our firebrands, wizard lightnings. Bring in lava coils, daredevils, and I think I want a Chandra. And Tibskis? Tibskis seems okay. It's not great because X1s usually come out anyway. Maybe you don't want to be that. It's, I mean, actually, I'm sorry, I want daredevils. I don't think they have that much stuff. I'm thinking of a mirror for some reason. My head's just somewhere. I think we actually need these firebrands. Yeah. Um. We leave in like two pyromancers. I'm leave in three. 
Let's try this. <sighs> Always oh, racked those decks. That's good. Run it up. Sure. Chandra's nice. Um, pretty sure we just steam in here. Set up for next turn. Could shock this at attack, but it's kind of kind of loosey goosey. I'll block. And you got me now. Um, yeah, it's a machine roller, whatever. I'm gonna get shot her down safely next turn, so. Building the best board possible seems good. Frenzy's not bad either, but probably just want a Chandra. If they can kill my Chain Whirler, they still can't kill Chandra. Just play Chandra and say go though. With the frenzy also in hand, I'm feeling pretty good about the long game here. So. Okay. I mean, any work they do on our Chandra just does work on their Chandra, which is pretty good, so... Attacking me? So we just kill them, then they don't die to being sacrificed, and it's fine. That's interesting. Um, fire out Chandra. Another Chain Whirler. Uh, that's really good. Yeah, that's a really good one. I'm telling Mother Ludi on you. And then we attack Chandra and attack them, or we'll leave this back on D. Doesn't matter. Alright, turn that back, that's pretty good. Why well, mono red? Just trying all the top decks in the format. It's a tier one kind of day. Just playing some tier one decks. There's the MCQ this weekend. I haven't played much standard, so we're just gonna Doing the tier one crash course, figure out what we're gonna play this weekend.
Martin Yuza and Paulo both play this deck in their MPL weekly thingy. It's good. Um, what deck am I looking forward to the most? Maybe the Jeskai Planeswalkers deck. Standard Goblins ain't too good, you know? Priest of Forgotten Gods. Steamkin. I mean, it is somewhat unlikely they'll be able to play two creatures next turn. I think I just Steamkin here. Shauna does give them two, but if we stack a Lava Runner, we stack a Lava Runner. It's not the end of the world. Uh, I went 8 and 8 at the Pro Tour, came in like 170th place or whatever. Pretty medium finish. Alright, so. They can Chandra, they can sack. We sack Lava Runner. I guess they draw a card. I guess they make Black Black too. Maybe we should have killed the Priest, I don't know. I have to have Chandra there, and even then, this isn't even that bad. And now you get to kill stuff and probably kill the Chandra, so it could be worse. I mean, they have a, a spell to play off of this black black, but we're in combat, so it doesn't even matter. Um. Maybe just strike this bad boy. Or bad girl. Feels pretty good. Sleep for a week. Yeah, I might, might have messed up. Think I need better opponents for testing? Well, it's got a platinum, you know? I think we'll be mythic by the end, by the end of the day, so... I mean, now we're in great shape. We have Frenzy rolled up, we have a removal spell, we have a good board. Knight of Ebon Legion. Okay. Um, I mean, yeah, this is fine. Just lava coil this. They pump it, we just shoot it. Make some mana, kill some stuff, play some frenzies, etc., etc. Okay. Um, okay. Well, about that. The old shame scoopsies. Two and one. Hmm. A sign we should play some uh, planeswalkers, apparently. All right, folks, check out bcwsupplies.com. I'm playing their stuff in every tournament I've played for the last four years. The new Elite 2 deck card sleeves are out. I know the graphics not updated yet, but it will be. Um, use promo code JIM10. Go buy yourself a box like a six-pack of the deck card Elite 2 sleeves. It's like 25 bucks minus 10%. Save some money. Don't buy a $12 pack of sleeves every tournament. Spend 25 bucks and buy a six-pack. All right, come on. You're a Magic player. Get some value. You're smarter than that. Why do you never play against these types of opponents? You do. You just probably don't notice. Yes. Updated soon. Hashtag soon. Also give me a follow on Twitter at Jim Davis MTG, of course. Twitskies is our decks for the day. At Jim Davis MTG. Look, that's a Disney. Yeah. Uh yeah. It's a hand. It's a hand. 
What's up, Zeus? Um, I made an announcement about that. I, I explained it on, on my YouTube. Um, it is going good, but we are definitely still dealing with house stuff and whatever, so... I mean, we'll, we'll get there when we get there, unfortunately. Lord Dragon, if you can make command up, oh, there we go. Look at that. Power Jack as a as a thing. Why is the why is there an ad for a video player on YouTube? It's weird. Here it is. Check it out. Right, Links to chat. What's up, my friends? Welcome. I prop. Uh, no. We gotta play a land first. Isolated Chapelle. Suppose we gotta be aware of Legion's End. I mean, if we double up on our creatures. Esper. Mm, we're shoving. Don't Legion's End me. Make me very sad. I would have cast it if I had it anyway, so... Both well, Kai is really good. Not too bad. I think I bounce Othakaya or something. I bounce my Steamkin. I mean, that works for me. You just let me know if you're up for round two. I'm always ready for round two, Taft. Don't you worry. John and Nicole are at Disney. They sent me a picture. Shock, shock, and they have no land, and they have seven cards in hand. Hello. Um, I haven't played any spells yet. I guess we're just playing Lava Runner and attacking. Imagine something something getting killed here. We get a case to sleep before twenty five. I'm not sure if it's exactly twenty five. Uh, oh sh. Here. BCW supplies. Gaming. Should be a six pack of sleeves. On here. That was a thing you could do. And there's, there's definitely a bulk discount if you buy. If you buy five packs, you save a, like a buck fifty every pack of sleeves. You can just do that. Six twelve. That's a little, little, little more than I said, but man, my math ain't so good. So, point is, you can buy them in bulk, and buying in bulk saves you a lot of money. Alright, so they hit our Lava Runner. That's fine. It's going to shock them. Get our Lava Runners turned on, or our other Lava Runner turned on. What's up, John Glass? Awesome, DS. Make sure you use that promo code. Save, five, save 10%, alright? Alright, I mean, they are dead on board. Hopefully they can't gain any life. Othakaya, looking at you. Oh, 
Oh, I should, I should shock the Lobmancer. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. My head's in the clouds. Definitely should. I should. should, should if I'm going to shock them, I should shock the creature they're, they're, they're killing with Lightning Helix. So they don't gain three. They, they, they don't gain three instead of them taking two. It's obviously much better. Wasn't thinking, wasn't, wasn't thinking about it. They're in the old tank skis here. They look pretty dead to me. Shocking. Guard mage. Alright. Uh, this puts them up to six. Still dead, though. Still dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Dead, 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 dead. Okay, Esper traditionally not a great matchup for Mono Red. But we got some tip skis in the sideboard, which is good. Alright, uh tip skis in, Chandra in, Daredevil's in. Uh I think the Firebrands are out. The Wizards Lightnings are out. Maybe we cut a shock. I guess lightning might be a little better than shock. We're cutting some wizards though, and we're adding a lot of three drops. I think this is fine. I'm sorry, we're not cutting wizards. I'm an idiot. We're cutting the firebrands. So let's cut the shocks. Like it. Cut a frenzy? Nah. You still want to grind? Mono red, mono red. Waiting on your opponent. Yeah, follow followers, give me that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. They gotta fix Arena. I'm sorry. Arena's been so slow lately. Only been on for a little over an hour, and it's already starting to chug. This hand plays pretty well. Um, I think it's Chain Wool, where that goes. I think you want to keep the Lightning Strike. Definitely want Light Up a Stage, definitely want Tibski. Pretty annoying, but we have two good cards at least, so we have to keep one of them. Zoo, thanks for uh, hanging out, my friend. Have a good night. Tipski is gone. Okay, we just Pyromancer here. Can set up Light of Stage later. That's pretty good for us. So at least one of these will hit. We'll cast Light of Stage. light up a stage? I know Wizard's Lightning. Let me just fire again, honestly. 
Pyromancer of Frenzy. That's not great, but... Lightning's already accounted for, so... see here. I mean, we draw land. Or we not draw land. Let's have another four drop, basically. Alright, I mean... Losing Frenzy kind of sucks, but... They have removal spell and discard spell in their, uh, in their graveyard, so Daredevil's looking pretty good. Daredevil for Thought Erasure. Oh my god, Enter the God Eternals. Uh, that's pretty bad. All right, I guess that's. F I mean, we, I guess we can Daredevil with token. Nah, I don't want to bolt my own dude. It's not worth it. It's not. It's not worth the effective one damage to lose the versatility of having a Wizard Lightning in my hand. This is fine. Like, bolting my own creature would make them not gain four life, but they still amass. So. If our plan was to, to lightning them at the end step, then yes, I would do that, but it was not. So, alright, I guess we're going to kill this 4-4. Four, four. This kind of sucks, but... Definitely want that 5th or 4th land. There it is. If four card or three cards in hand and nothing going on, this feels weird. Let's see what's going on here. All right, they have all ends. All ants kind of made sense, but... Fairy is kind of irrelevant, and then bouncing either one of these is pretty good for us, so... It's fine. We have Chandra and Frenzy on tap, so it feels pretty good. Best case for them here is they draw Othakaya. Does not seem to be the case. We will meet again. Land? Cool. Cool. Next to gain a lot of life. Lightning strike. Light him up. What's up, rockin'? Time Raveler on a, again, not really great board for Time Raveler, which is good for us. They're just going to minus to draw a card and not even bounce something. That's interesting. Okay. I mean, Thought Razor's not bad. They could have draw stepped it. They minus that, they minus that, they plus. So, Frenzy's gone. We still have Chandra and. Still have a good board here. They're going to bin a Tyrant Scorn. So they're, they're looking for a big effect here. Uh, uh, well, 
That makes sense then. Dire Fleet, Daredevil. Uh, I only have one card in hand. Is Thought Erasing that card? I guess it's better than nothing, right? So sure. We're not going to not cast Dire Fleet, Daredevil, so. Island, sure. Light up a stage, sure. I mean, we got a board. I think we're just gonna kill Teferi. We got Chandra Ultimate on tap. Things are looking pretty good. Kaya! Yeah, them hitting uh, Chandra and just getting hit for three feels pretty good. Let's. Steamkin Pyromancer. Do I do we just slam everything here? I don't think slamming everything is necessary. Um Kaya's Wrath, Golden Demise, things like that. Yeah, we just say go here. We have lethal currently with six in the board and two from the pyromancer, so. Oh. Thanks for following everyone. If you haven't followed, through that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. He drew a disfigure. Okay. Well, I guess these are going away anyway. Maybe I should have cast one of these. Because we were. I kind of forgot they were light up stage cards, and we were just casting them anyway. I should have cast one of them for sure. I should have just cast both of them, honestly. Whatever. I don't think it matters. I think we're miles ahead here, so. Very bouncing oath. Has to draw like another oath. Oh, I've done There's still not beating the Chandra, so. Penguin! T minus one month till sub badge hype. Keep up the great work, Jim. Thanks, my friend. Thanks for coming back. Happy to have you. 11 month resub. Your dead skis. So we're three and one now, right? <laughs> Moving on up. Two and one. Pretty sure we're three and one. Played Rakdos, something else, Rakdos, Esper. Three and one. Sai. Just guy, right? Um, yeah. This sand's pretty bad, unless we know our opponent's playing creatures. This sand's pretty good, but I don't. I don't think we can make a mulligan in the sand. We're gonna keep Z. Two month resub. Welcome back. Month number two is the important one. You chose to come back, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Hollow Fountain, not good for our hand. That's actually kind of fine. Land, two drop. Perfect. Perfect. Love to see it. Love to see it. Ooh. Paradise Druid, A. Eh? Where are my Goblin Chain Whirlers at? Lightning Bolt feels pretty good here. A 
Risen Reef. Where are my chain whirlers? Ah, oh, land envelope mystery. So good. Bottom. Pretty sure we're gonna kill the Paradise Druid, though. Wow. Goblin Chain Whirler, my kingdom for a Goblin Chain Whirler. Uh, I'm pretty sure I still kill Paradise Druid. If I frenzy here and they bounce it with Teferi, it's kind of a disaster, but I think that's what we're doing. Definitely think this is not a great frenzy matchup. We're looking to just kill them really quickly. Playing uh, our opponent's deck later on in the stream, the Bant Ramp deck. This is pretty good. Rise, my elemental friend. Well, aren't you a little late? It's okay though. I forgive you. Lightning strike. Yeah. All right, so he gets an upkeep lightning strike at least. Kill one of these temples. They only have one forest in play, so. I'm not going to be playing any monstrous crisis. Two, four, five, six, seven. It's still really big. Sent by Mike. Uh, yeah. If you're on Discord, message me there. Be easier. This is going to be a big crisis. Oh boy. Here we go. Standard all day today. Yes, I'm playing a lot of modern lately. Got to get back into standard. Alright, not as bad as a uh, Hydro Crisis, I suppose. So, upkeep, Lightning Strike, Temple Garden. We can draw our card. Pyromancer? Okay. Shock. Do we hit Nissa here? Probably. This is not feeling super great. Fragile. We are constraining their mana, but we are um, not exactly making progress against all these three threes. That's pretty significant. Um, where's this shock going? Probably on Paradise Druid. We got more stuff to play? Oh, please stop. It's got a Paradise Druid. That's worse than Risen Reef is, I think. Top card, light up the stage. Fine. Top card. Mountain. Mountain. Uh, tough game there. Tough game. Definitely a tough one. Alright. Um, not a very good Frenzy matchup because uh, they kind of go over the top of Frenzy anyway. And they also have Teferi to bounce it, which is pretty bad for us too. So we're going to shave. If we actually want... Is Chandra better than, Defer than Frenzy in this matchup? And then, I don't think we want Tybalt against Krasis. Wouldn't mind some Lava Coils to kind of plow the road a little bit. Um, and is Chandra better than Frenzy? You can't Deferry it. I think it is. Something like this. Thoughts on Red Green Ponza with Renin 6 and a bunch of Ghost Quarters? 
maybe. I think there's a lot of stuff that'll be, that needs to be explored in Modern because Hogax messing things up right now. Um, Ren and Six is certainly one of the power, most powerful cards in Modern Horizons and possibly the whole format. So I imagine there'll be a lot of different Ren and Six things happening. Yeah, eight's that standard is pretty big. It is pretty big. Ooh. That's pretty bad. That's uh, significantly better. <laughs> I'm gonna ship a land here. I mean, Phoenix is really bad against Teferi, so... Light him up, Steamkin's great, no one drop great. I'd like to draw a land this turn, I think. Hmm. Will they block? Let's see. This actually works out really well for us. We can offer the attack. And if they block the steam, can we get to shock them? It's pretty dope. Otherwise, you light up a stage. Pretty dope. No land, though. No land. I mean, it's pretty good. Steam is on force card is really, really good. Just forget how good this card is. You haven't played with it in a while. It's very silly. Oh, well, that cuts our style a little bit. Alright. I mean, they know we have shock. God, sucks. Our charm is going to be so good. Alright. Light up a stage again. Oh, no lands? Oh, you're killing me, Smalls. <coughs> I really should have seen that coming. Alright, we need to land. We need a few lands, honestly. All these cards are so good. Alright, I mean... Doesn't feel good, that's for sure. Aether Gust? Oh god. I think we're dead, folks. They have Nissa and we only have two lands in play. Do not underestimate my fortitude. Fortitude. Behold, nature's true power. Yeah, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're, we're super dead. If they have literally any follow-up here, we're just dead. Yeah, it's the follow-up. Oh look, another firebrand. All right, that's a pretty tough match there. I mean, didn't didn't draw particularly well. Chain ruler is usually so good against them, but all right. So three and two of mono red. Um, deck seems reasonably well positioned. Um, 
Just mono red. There's not much to say. Mono red. Moving on to our next deck. YouTube folks, subscribe and I love you.